Hey y'all, welcome back to Andy's Little Homestead. I want to do a quick video, basically going over some tips, uh, things that I've learned. I call them old farmer tricks, but you don't have to be a farmer. I mean, I barely qualify as a farmer, but it's still important stuff to know. So let's get started. The reason people went blind from drinking bad moonshine is because the first four ounces of alcohol that come out of the still are methyl alcohol instead of ethyl alcohol. Its boiling point is about three or four degrees below ethyl alcohol, so it comes out first. It causes optic nerve poisoning. Before you drink it, light it on fire. If it burns blue, it's good. If it burns red, you're dead. If it doesn't burn, they cut it with too much water, you're buying a crap product. Don't clean out the straw in the chicken coop in the winter time. When it gets real nasty, just add to it. As you add the layers of straw and decaying fecal matter, it basically makes a bioheater. Even with only three walls in here and no insulation, it's about 20 degrees warmer than the outside temperature. It's pretty cool. Also, if you're not the composting type, all scrap food goes to the chicken. They'll eat anything, even chicken. Second tip, save your used motor oil. I'm gonna assume that you watched my last video and began to change your own oil. I use it as bar oil in the chainsaw. Now obviously I'm using a lot of bar oil and not having to buy it is nice. It's gonna get burned up anyway. While we're here talking about chainsaws, Turn the bar upside down every time you sharpen the chain. That way it wears evenly and will last longer. The other thing you can use motor oil for is a cheap wood preservative. Ignore the fact that it's in a gas can. That's what I had already. You do a 50 fix of used motor oil and diesel fuel. Shake it up, put it in a pump sprayer. The thinner mixture will soak into the wood. Now the wood's gotta be dry, but it'll soak in there. It leaves behind all the metal shavings and little microscopic particles that were in the used motor oil, it'll leave it behind in the pores of the wood. Oil and water don't like each other, so it'll repel water. And the microscopic bits that are left behind don't taste very good to bugs. They won't eat it. If you've gotta go buy an ax, I recommend getting a Michigan double bit. Not because I live in Michigan, but because you go twice as long between sharpenings. Also, if you have the chance, you're trying to buy an ax, check out places that sell old crap. Garage sales, antique stores, Go rob your neighbor's abandoned barn. Whatever. I picked up this axe for 20 bucks. Found out after doing a little research on the interwebs that it was made sometime in the 70s or 80s. Before Collins Axe moved their manufacturing to Mexico. 20 bucks and a new handle, and you got a new axe. Now it amazes me some of the things that you can buy commercially. You can literally go to Tractor Supply and exchange 15 American dollars for a feed scoop. That's stupid. The chickens don't care if it came out of a feed scoop or coffee can. If you're gonna buy an old truck, you better know how to work on an old truck. If you got a car battery that's almost dead and you gotta squeeze just a little more out of it, drop it on the ground a couple times. It'll loosen the plates up or something like that. You might be able to squeeze one or two more starts out of it. On that same note, you got an old truck or an old tractor that won't start, Hit starter with a hammer. It'll knock the brushes loose. I can't tell you how many times I've done that. People thought I was a wizard. If you're gonna heat with wood, cover it. I obviously haven't done that yet, and the Canadians have been blowing up my comments. If you're buying a tool that you're gonna use every day, get the best thing that you can afford. If you're buying tools that you're only using every now and again, go to Harbor Freight. If you're gonna buy Chinese tools, you might as well pay Chinese prices. Propane cylinder exchanges are a complete ripoff. That one's $20 to swap out. That one's $12 to fill up. That one's 15 pound cylinder. That one's actually a 20, even though they look the same size. Just get them filled, man. Don't swap them. It's a waste of money. If you live in a hot place, get a big hat. Now seems like a good time to talk about that. The back of your neck is your body's radiator. Keep it in the shade, it'll keep you cool. Roofing houses in the south is how I ended up wearing a cowboy hat in the first place. Then people call me cowboy for some reason. Like I am not friends with one single cow. Second one about the weather. At a certain point, you're better off wearing long sleeves and long pants. You ever seen a picture of a farmer in the Great Depression in like Georgia or something? He ain't wearing questionably short khaki shorts and a tank top there, Braden. Lightweight cotton, long sleeves, long pants. Keep sun off you. You're gonna sweat through it, the sweat will evaporate. You'll just be wet. Some final things on a more philosophical note. 
If you're a dad and you got boys, your little boy wants to be you. Make sure that's a good thing. If you're the smartest person in a room, you're in the wrong room. If you're going to be dumb, you got to be tough. Save your money, buy good whiskey. That one came from my granddad. You've heard me say it before, but if it looks stupid and it works, it ain't stupid. And finally, the soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing while the hand of the diligent is richly supplied. King Solomon wasn't a farmer, but he was a pretty smart guy, I'm told. Time to get back to work. As always, I love y'all and God bless.